Hello, creative friends, and welcome to the Stamping Squad. I'm Cheryl Dorsey, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I wanna welcome you to my channel today. If this is your first time here, I wanna give a special welcome. I hope you'll enjoy this video, and if you do, I hope that you will click the button for notifications and subscribe and give me a thumbs up. That helps me so much. Um, YouTube loves it when the audience interacts with the creator and I love it too. So I can't wait to hear your comments. I always answer all the comments. So again, welcome. Oh, and if you've been here before and you decided to come back, thank you to you too. So I'm very glad you're here. All right, today I have a fun, fun fold, right? That's why it's called a fun fold because it is fun. Um, and it's using the Splendid Day products. And I just think it is so beautiful. I have had this paper for probably a month and I hadn't used it yet. And so finally I created a couple things and I wanted to share this card with you today. So this is a 3D card. Uh, you probably can't tell that by the way it's lying down right here, but let me, let me flip it up so you can see. So the card will actually stand up like this and it does still fit into a standard medium envelope that we use. So uh, let's do that today. Today I'm going to use different colors. This card was done with Sahara Sand and Fresh Freesia. But today we're going to be using, uh, let's see, we're going to be using Petal Pink and Pool Party. And let me just show you uh, this paper because it is so gorgeous. Let me move that out of the way. And I have used some of this paper now, so it's not complete sheets, but you can get the idea. It's a foil paper. And so, you know, you could do anything with this paper and it would come out looking fantastic because the paper is just wonderful. All right, so there's one sheet. Here's another one. This one's cute. It has little ladybugs on it. I don't know if you can see that, but really, really cute. Uh, the paper has beautiful soft colors and so it would be a really nice uh, paper i think to use for uh, wedding cards or anything really for that matter because it is so pretty and one more and the reverse side are coordinating colors these the reverse side is not foil but all of these soft and beautiful colors work well with the foil sides. So that is the paper, and it is in the mini catalog, the July to December 2022 mini catalog. I don't think I said the date today. It is September 20th, so um, of 2022. And that is the catalog where you can find that. You can also find this stamp set that we're gonna be using, the Splendid Thoughts stamp set. And so it has some, some plants here. It has a little bee, which I think is adorable. And then it has some greetings. Today we're gonna to be using the Sending Hugs greeting. So that is what we're using. Let me show you the pieces that we need. We need a piece of cardstock that is four and a quarter by eight and three eighths. We also need a piece of cardstock that is three inches by four and seven eighths. We need a white piece of cardstock that is four inches by four and a quarter inches. Another white piece of cardstock that is two and a quarter by two and three quarters. And then we need two pieces of designer series paper. The first one four inches by four and a quarter. So it's the same size as this white piece of cardstock. And then one more piece of designer series paper that is two and three quarters inches by three and a quarter inches. So we've got lots of layers here to make our card beautiful. Um, this is petal pink. I don't remember if I said that. And this is pool party. So those are the colors we're gonna be using today. And let's start with stamping. So I'm going to bring a little piece of paper in here so I don't get ink on my surface. And I think I'm just going to start with this small piece of cardstock here. And on here, let me go back to the card that I showed you in the beginning. That's this piece. We're going to um, stamp this and then we're going to stamp the sentiment. 
So let me grab that stamp. Here it is. And for that, I want to use my pool party ink. There we go. There we go. Pool party is one of my favorite colors. So I was happy to see it in this paper. All right, so I am going to put that, let's say right about here. There we go. And then, this is kind of like two-step stamping. It's slightly different. With, with most of the two-step stamping that we have with Stampin' Up!, the um, outline image and the inside image line up pretty good. I mean, sometimes they're exact, sometimes they're, they're close with just a little bit of, of space, but this one is very much uh, more artistic, I think. So I, it took me a little while to figure out how I wanted to use this stamp with this image because it wasn't obvious to me. So I had to play around with it a little bit and I'm gonna show you what I came up with. So I'm gonna stamp off because I want the inside to be a lighter color. So I took this and I kind of thought, okay, there's two pieces there, there's two pieces at the top. And so I just kind of put this right up here like this and twist it a little bit so that bottom one is over on the right side of the stem. And then I inked up again stamped off again and then I turned it this way so the two are down at the bottom and I'm going to kind of twist it so that one at the top is on the left side of the stem. Now I don't know if, that, <laughs> if that's the way they intended it to be but um, for me it, it put a little color all along this um, stem of leaves and so I thought that looks good. That looks good to me. So I went with it. All right. The other thing we need is the sentiment. And I'm going to use my petal pink for that. And we're using sending hugs. So let me ink that up. And I'm going to test it because I haven't used this um, stamp today. And yeah, that looks good. So sometimes I, I find that for me, when I use the stamp for the first for the first time on a particular day, uh, I don't always get it inked up the way I want to on the first go, so I like to test it out. There we go, sending hugs. I like the way that looks. Now, there's also, and I don't think I showed you, there's this other piece, you may be wondering what this one is for, four inches by four and a quarter, and it's actually on the back of the card. So let me grab that card again and pull it in. Here it is, and on the back, that's where you can write your message. And I am going to stamp a little bit on the back with some of the other stamps in this set. So again, let me grab the pool party because I'm going to use that for my plants. And this time I'm going to use this beautiful plant. Now I am not very much of a green thumb, so I don't know a whole lot about plants. I, so I, I don't know what what these plants are called, uh, but, they, but they're pretty. <laughs> I do know that. The other one looks a little bit like eucalyptus to me. Um, so I don't know if that was really what it's meant to be, but it looks that way to me. Now again, this is the same thing. This does not exactly have the same number of leaves or line up precisely to go on that. So you can just decide how you want to position it. And I think I'm just gonna go right here. I did stamp it off because I want this part of the image to be a little bit lighter. There we go. All right, let me put that away. And the last thing I wanted to do, let me move these, is to stamp this cute little bee. And so I'm gonna go back to my petal pink. And again, I'm just gonna test it to make sure that I have it inked well. And let's put him right here. There we go. 
All right, the stamping is all finished. So let's move on to the next step. All right, these two pieces of cardstock that I showed you in the beginning, they need score lines, all right? And I have actually already scored this, but let me bring in my Simply Scored tool just so you can see. Let me bring it down here so you can see. There we go. So this piece was four and a quarter by eight and three eighths, and it's scored in four places. So I scored it right here at three eighths of an inch, again at one and three eighths, two and seven eighths, and three and seven eighths. So those score marks are already there. Then the smaller piece that is three inches by four and seven eighths is scored at three eighths of an inch and one and three eighths. So I love that Simply Scored tool. When you're doing projects that have a 3D aspect to them, it really gives you precision measurements between your score lines. So your project does turn out uh, much nicer, I think. Um, Sometimes when I do it with, if I try to score multiple score lines on a project with my um, cutting blade or my cutting, cutting and scoring tool, I cannot think of the name of that. Is it cutting and scoring tool? Um, and you just have to move it and measure where you're going to score. I find that I'm, I'm not very precise with that. And so sometimes then when I go to put my project together, it doesn't go together as neatly as I would imagine that it should. So there we go. I just took my bone folder and burnished all those edges. This is going to fold up like this. And then let's do the same thing here. Burnish. And one more. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and glue a few things together. Now you, I'm, you, I am using glue because I like the multi-purpose glue, but you could use uh, tape adhesive if you prefer that. So let me just flip this over and we're gonna get just a little bit of glue on here. Now this foil paper, what I have found is if you use a lot of glue, that it creates kind of like little bulges underneath this foil paper. You can see the little bulges coming through and that's not a look we want. So, <laughs> so I use very little glue. You never have to use very much because it's quite strong. Um, and then I make sure that I press it well so that the glue is spread out so it's not, you know, congregating in one place or another. So there we go, we've got that. And let's go ahead and take this piece and we're going to glue some layers on here. So this is a piece of DSP, it's gonna go on here and then this is gonna go on top of it. So let's get those put together. It does seem kind of a shame to cover this up, doesn't it? But you know, you can always buy more paper, right? You can always buy more paper. Okay, let me get this on. And then this little piece that we stamped. Okay. And let's see if I can get it positioned correctly. Okay, happy with that. Give it a good rub. And while we're gluing things together, I'm gonna grab this and, and adhere this to the back of my card. So let's go. I'm almost finished with the gluing here. And this goes on the back, right like this. I really do love this card. It's it's not a difficult card to make. Um, many of you may have made this style of card before, 
but if you haven't, once you've done it, then it totally makes sense. And the second, third, fourth, fifth, etc., card that you make is it's just much easier. Okay, so now what we want in the end is we want this to fold up like this. So let's put some adhesive along here, and I'm going to use tear and tape because it's very strong. Sometimes with 3D projects, uh, because they get folded out, folded back, folded out, folded back, we want them to hang together. So we want them to be really strong. So let me show you something that, um, that I do with this tear and tape. Now, I always found, I think that a lot of people use it like this, okay? They kind of put their hand around it and then they put this down and then when it gets to this point, for some reason it was always really awkward for me to tear it with this around my hand. And I think maybe it's because my hand is small. I don't know. It was, it was just hard for me to manage it. So um, what I started doing is putting my hand all the way through. And then I come back and grab it like this. Okay? So then I take this and put it along here, just like I want to. And then I am going to use my metal ruler. I love my metal ruler to uh, to tear this. It's It just works better for me than trying to use my fingernails. I guess my fingernails aren't very strong, so it's kind of difficult for me. And so see, still I have this, I'm not dropping it, or um, it's not getting in the way of what I'm doing. Now, again, we wanna put some right here. Let me grab my ruler. Let's tear that. There we go. I'm going to move this out of the way because it's kind of distracting. And let's see, I'm going to use this take your pick tool to lift this up. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start over here. Let's start with this one and do this one first. And for some reason today, let me turn it this way. That was proving to be tricky for me. Okay, there we go. So this, now you, what you don't have to do, which I think is really good news, is try to hold this up here and get it square and figure out what's going on. You don't have to do that. You just take this and you're going to fold it right like this. There we go. And you can press it down. This is flat, so you can really press it down good. And then, look, it turns out just right. Similarly, this one, we want to uh, adhere it down here on this panel. And so I am going to put a little bit of glue on the back of this. I don't want to go too high because I don't want to go up higher than that fold mark. And I am gonna go ahead and pull that off. So I'm gonna center this. There we are. And then I'm going to take this, fold it under, and just press it down, just like this. So let's press the bottom, let's press the top. I'm actually gonna uh, flip that over a little bit and press it really good. And then you see that's exactly the way we want it. So I just love the way that you can fold, press, and you really don't have to work at trying to line something up so it all works out. Anyway, that is, that is beautiful. I love it. I really love it. And let's embellish a little bit. So I do have a piece of pool party ribbon here. And I am just going to tie a knot in this one. And then I am going to uh, adhere it right here with a glue dot. So let me grab my glue dots. 
press down, pull it off, and that is going to go right there. And I am going to trim this a little bit. Trim there. And there. Okay. There we are. Let's get rid of that. And then the last thing I want to do is I want to use these adhesive back sequins and gems. And these are also in the mini catalog that is um that we can order from right now and i'm going to use these and let's put a few on here to give it just a little bit of sparkle i think that's a really nice finishing touch and these with the adhesive backing are so easy to use so there we go and that is our card Sending hugs on the back. You can write your message. This card does fold flat. So, you know, you can write after you've assembled the card if you'd like to. And then it does fit in a standard size envelope. Let me grab one here. Here we go. So this is one of our medium envelopes. And you see that I also stamped on the envelope. I have a personal rule for myself where they always say no naked envelopes. So I always do something to make the envelope special as well as something that coordinates with the card. So this will slip right in. It's just the right size to fit in that envelope. All right, so that's what we made today. Let me show you again the one from the beginning in different colors, right? There we go. And then I have one other one I wanted to show you that I did something just a little bit different with the ribbon. So this one's in the same colors that we used today, but instead of putting a knot here, you'll notice I took ribbon and just actually wrapped it around this panel and tied a little bow at the top. So I thought that was, that was a cute way to finish it off as well. So there's the cards. Let me know which colors you like best. Let me know what kind of ribbon style you like best and um, who you're going to make one of these cards for. So if you have any questions, be sure and leave me a comment. There'll be lots of information, the products I use, it's, and the measurements and everything in the description below this video. There's a link to my website where you can shop with me. If you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. So you can find all the info you need there to place your order. So thank you very much. I hope you have a fantastic day. See you soon. Bye-bye.